Hey everyone and welcome back to Remember This Tech. Today I'm going to try to put the Orange Pi Ubuntu OS, the newest one, onto a fast NVMe drive. And I've got a crucial 500 gig drive. I know that's overkill, but hey, I wanted to try it out. And I'm going to attempt to flash it onto that drive with Blaine Etcher or Raspberry Pi Imager and then I'm going to boot up from it. So come along with me today and we're going to try a flashing the Orange Pi Ubuntu OS onto this crucial NVMe. Come on, let's go. The first thing we'll need to do is head over to Orange Pi website, downloads, and then when that comes up, scroll down, Ubuntu image, which is brand new. So let's try that one. The important thing to note is if you're going to flash an NVMe, make sure and download the image that supports that. And in this case, we want Jammy GNOME Desktop Linux 5.1.0.0. One one zero, I mean. Click on that and hit download. Download anyways. It'll take a while and when it's done downloading, you can it, unzip it. The Jammy Gnome. And they always come zipped, so extract to here and extract that. And sometimes it'll be zipped even after you extract it, so make sure that you take the extracted image, which is right here, and make sure it says IMG. If it says IMG, you are good to go. The next step is going to be opening up Balain Etcher. To flash this NVMe USB adapter, Balain Etcher should see it. You can flash it. Once you have Balain Etcher launched, go flash from file. And then go over here and find the image that you just extracted. Which would be this one in this case, because we're going to do Jammy Gnome. And click OK. Select target. Now it sees the uh, Crucial NVMe on the USB adapter. So we go, yep. Select that and select it. Now you hit flash. It's going to say, oh, it's going to erase everything. Are you sure? And I'm like, of course and then click yes. This process could be a couple minutes to a little bit longer, depending on your speed of your USB um, enclosure and your NVMe and also whether you're 3.1 USB or whatever you're hooked up at on your computer. So let's let that finish and break back. Now we have our fresh NVMe uh, drive flash with Blaine Etcher. We're going to plug it into our Orange Pi and then we are going to boot up onto the Orange Pi. Plug into power. Now I'm going to boot up off of um, an, a compact flash drive in there with Orange Pi OS and I'm probably going to have to go into the uh, config file so that we can actually boot from it. So let's uh, go ahead and zoom in on the screen so you can see this a little bit better and it's Orange Pi config. So it's under settings, Orange Pi config, launch that and then you're going to have to put this in. And then let's see if we can make this larger. I think we go under system is firmware. And then go into the bootloader. So in the bootloader options, we want to go over here to Number seven, which is SPI flash. And when it's doing that, it's just gonna freeze. And then when it's done, it'll say done. So 
We'll come back to this in a moment. All right, so it's done, right? It uh, didn't really give much of a uh, indication, but uh, we'll go back and then we will exit. We'll shut this down and we will we'll pull out the compact flash drive, right? So the system won't be confused and boot from there. We'll leave the NVMe in the NVMe slot here. Hopefully what we've done will allow it to boot from the NVMe. So let's see what happens, shall we? We're coming back up, fingers crossed. And it's booting. Yes. I'll do a secondary camera capture for you. Right here, NVMe, crucial. Booting up. As you can see, there is no flash because I took it out. Yes. Oh, there we are. Ubuntu. Excellent. We are running a Ubuntu on our NVMe. How cool is that? All right, so everything looks good. This is your normal desktop, I guess. So see what we have on here. Look at this, software updater. I guess we should probably run the software updater first, make sure everything's status quo. Install now. So 84 meg of updates, which isn't gonna take long. Hold them down, it's really snappy, zippy. Um, sudo apt update and then your password I fat fingered it but I did not so sudo apt update and then do a sudo apt upgrade and see what's available for updating upgrading go ahead and do that too so for my closing thoughts what can I say Loading the NVMe and prepping the Orange Pi 5 to boot from that NVMe wasn't that bad. Things of note, the NVMe speed and the responsiveness in regular running programs and other things, I found it very snappy compared to a micro SD card. And I highly recommend if you're not running one in your Orange Pi to get one, load it up and run it over your SD card because you're gonna notice a big speed improvement. They're not that expensive and you can even get a micro one to fit right under your orange pie without it sticking out. You don't have to get the long one like the Crucial that I used. Furthermore, if you're interested in seeing the benchmarks, the speed differences of different drives from the different NVMEs out there and a micro SD speed, check out the video in the link above or in the description below where I actually went through and test different NVMEs and SD cards and you can see the difference in the speeds between them in my video. So check it out. In closing thoughts, you might have to redo the bootloader process in the Orange Pi config for your NVMEs if you change operating system distros. So keep that in mind if you go through and load a different distro, Armbian versus Orange Pi, Ubuntu, etc. And you might have to once in a while update your firmware uh, to the latest revision on your Orange Pi 5. It's always good to keep those things up to date. If you run out of space, you might have to wipe it or whatever. But you can always look that up online and how to do that. I highly recommend running an NVMe on your Orange Pi 5. So hopefully this helped you out in this mini tutorial. And thanks for watching. Remember this tech.